Greenpeace Southeast Asia is the regional office of the global environmental organization Greenpeace. Greenpeace has run successful campaigns in the Philippines, Taiwan, India, Indonesia and Thailand, often working with other local environmental groups. In late 1980s and early 1990s, Greenpeace has developed its presence, and first established an office in Japan in 1989 and then China in 1997. Because of the region's vital importance, initial investigations were also initiated focusing primarily on Philippines and Indonesia. Greenpeace has thoroughly campaigned in industrialized countries to reduce and eventually eliminate environmental pollution and degradation knowing that those efforts can easily be reversed as some multinational companies export dirty technologies resulting in environmental destruction in the region. In 1999, Greenpeace led the campaign to push for the passage of Republic Act No. 8749, otherwise known as the Philippine Clean Air Act, which includes an unprecedented national ban against waste incineration. In recognition of the region's vital importance, Greenpeace Southeast Asia was formally established on March 2000 with its head office in Bangkok, Thailand and branch offices in Manila, Philippines and Jakarta, Indonesia, major cities in the region that are among the most polluted cities in the world today. Greenpeace Southeast Asia is firmly rooted within the local environmental communities around the countries where it operates. Licensed to use the name, Greenpeace, by Stichting Greenpeace Council, Greenpeace Southeast Asia contributes financially to Greenpeace International, campaign locally, participate in international campaigns, and help shape the international campaign program. Greenpeace Southeast Asia's work in the region includes stopping hazardous waste imports, opposing radioactive shipments, campaigning against forest destruction, lobbying governments on sustainable energy issues and drawing attention to the dangers of waste incineration. It uses tactics of nonviolent direct action to draw attention to what it considers significant threats to the environment, and then forces solutions. In 2005 the Rainbow Warrior II ran aground on and damaged the Tubataha Reef in the Philippines while inspecting the reef for coral bleaching. Greenpeace was fined $7,000 USD for damaging the reef and agreed to pay the fine saying they felt responsible for the damage, although Greenpeace stated that the Philippines government had given it outdated charts. The park manager of Tubatha appreciated the quick action Greenpeace took to assess the damage to the reef. As a regional organization, Greenpeace Southeast Asia focuses on bearing witness to the impacts brought by global warming, and increasing public awareness of the problems it poses. Campaigning to affect changes in the direction of the region's energy policies for the future, the group encourages governments to turn away from fossil fuel dependency and embracing renewable, sustainable and clean sources of energy. Topic. See also Greenpeace Greenpeace China Greenpeace Aotearoa New Zealand Von Hernandez